Hi my friends, Bruce here. So this is going to be a video of testing a battery on different locations and some assumptions and scientific methods tested. So it's a little bit rough around the edges because I didn't think I was going to make a video out of this but I just turned the camera on. But now that I've got, I've got the, uh, uh, some of the video made I got kind of intrigued. So there's going to be different sections that look different but you'll get it. And we're just having fun, right? And comments below, like, subscribe. I don't ask that often, but right now I'm kind of in a final stretch. So yeah, welcome aboard and let's go do this uh, lead acid battery testing. Thanks. All right, my friends. You guys know exactly what this is, right? This is a tra an old tractor battery. It's actually 15 years old. And you know the old story that says you, you shouldn't put batteries on concrete or metal. You're better off having them on an insulated or a wooden support for long-term storage. So I want you guys to be able to see this, this voltmeter. First of all, that's the main thing. We're gonna, I'm just trying to get some so you can, you can actually see it. Oh, well, we'll do the safe thing and use a can of gas. Okay, can you read that meter? Yes. It says, well, I'll short the leads together. This, this is what you do, right? Zero volts. Makes sense, right? Post to post should be about 13 something. It's... What does that say? It says 12.92. So now I've cleaned this battery up pretty well. I've wiped it down. Now I'm going to go, if you can see that, I hope you can. Yep, you can. I'm going to stay out of the light. I'm going to go to the skin of the battery over here. And it's reading at zero, zero, one, five one thousandths, two one thousandths of a volt. Let's go over here. It's not doing much. There. Five volts. You see where the, the two leads are? Let's just lift up a skosh there just a little bit. Okay. So here we are. Right on the skin of the battery. Right there. I'm not touching any posts. Well, I'd like to do it over here if I could. Well, there's 0.1 volts there. But it's draining down. Can you see it drain down? Because the meter has a load itself. It's a very sensitive meter, but that small amount of resistance is draining that voltage down. So now let's go over here. Oh. So there's a little tiny bit of voltage leaking from the post to the skin. I'll go fairly close. It should be higher. Yes. 30 thousandths of a volt. 5 thousandths of a volt. There's a half a volt to the back. I'm on, okay, if I can do this. I'm on the post, right? And I'm on the back of the battery now, back here. You see where my hand is? 1.3, but then the volt, the meter drains it away, right? Now you see it draining away? 2, 1.8, 2, 1.6, it's draining, draining, draining. Well, that's what happens if it sits on something that's mildly conductive like a salty concrete floor. So I believe that this is a very sensitive meter that you should store your batteries on an insulated surface. Because I can probably even measure a difference in voltage between the skin on one side and the skin on the other. You think we can do that? Yes, look at that. 50, 50, 0.05 volts. And that's just from the skin. Look at that. Now it's draining down again. So that, over a period of six months, will drain a battery. And you'll notice that the positive one leaks more than the negative one, right? The negative one doesn't leak much, or the positive one does. 11 volts there, and I'm not touching the post. Look at that. I'm on the side, right over here. 8 volts. 
Now there's not much power there because you'll see it's leaking away. So store your batteries not on a metal surface. And that's why when you leave them in your car and they're on that metal battery tray, they drain away. That's a cool demonstration. We'll show you one more time. On the outside so I don't cover you up. I enjoy this kind of stuff, you guys, as you know. So the case conducts electricity just from, I think it's just a fine, fine, fine film of acid and dust and stuff that's on these even after they've been cleaned. Thanks. All right, my friends. We're back. Now we've got the battery stored on a metal bench. I got zero volts over here on the wooden one. Right? Oops, just, that's my can for my uh, ultrasonic cleaner. But anyway, we had we had the battery sitting over here and I got no voltage when I measured from the post to the wood, of course. In fact, we can just do that right now. We, we can prove that. Just a little just a little measurement there. Positive post. Those are the ones that corrode, right? No change. So here we are back over here now on our metal bench with our meter, right? And we're going to go on the positive post. And as you saw, we got a voltage. Whoops, we used the red one. Must have do it right. We used the red one over here. And we have, a, it's been sitting now, it's 6 volts there, 6 one thousandths of a volt there, 6 one thousandths of a volt there, right? I mean, I'm in behind here. Now we're going to go back here. This is where we had the fun. Back of the battery, 4 volts. Side of the battery, hmm. 10 one thousandths of a volt, 17 one thousandths, 20, right up by the negative post. Not bad. Oh, 11 volts there. A little bit of moisture there, eh? 6 volts. How about down over here? 3.8, 1.05. So we're doing kind of the same experiment we were doing before. I want you to see the meter. That's my objective. Right? I think you can, maybe. Zoom in just a skosh. There we go. Now, battery positive on the red. Let's just go right to ground, right to the table. 1.8 volts and drain. No, it's, yeah, it's draining. Positive. Or the, or the negative side's never as bad. Huh? 0.1 volts. So right now that battery is draining to the metal cover metal cover down there, right? So now we're just going to do it on the concrete. So you do agree with me that there, if there's a voltage drop between the positive post and the table of 1.7 volts, it's going to drain. Now let's try the concrete. going to be a little bit more mysterious here. We'll just lay the meter down and see if you can get a shot of her. So, positive lead to this case. 6 volts draining down. Positive lead to the concrete. Well, 0.6 of a volt. So if that was sitting down there for 6 months, that battery would be dead. How about over here? Still even way over here, right? 0 0.6, 0 0.7. How about up, up close to the back? So metal is the most conductive, but so is this concrete. Interesting, huh? I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, so here we are. We've got the meter. I think we can read it. Right now, it, well, let's short it out. Zero volts. How we can turn this? 
<clears throat> Are you with me? Are you with me? Okay, so first we're going to check the battery itself, right? Now I've got to get out of the way of... <laughs> this has been part of my problem all along. Okay, positive to negative. 12.71 volts. Now, positive to the battery case. Hey, we can maybe even just put that in there like that. That would save us a lot of fooling around, wouldn't it? If we can. Hang on, hands in the way. Nope, we can do this. Hey, hey, Ralphy boy. One second, we'll just screw it. We're gonna, after all this, we're gonna attach this. Okay, so now, can you watch this? I'm at the back of the battery, not on the post. Six volts. And it drains away. Top of the battery, far side, zero. Middle of the battery, seven volts. But if you look, there's a little discoloration on the on the top, right? So now, let's go over here. Nine one thousandths, one volt. 3 volts, 0.something, 5 volts. So now, we, have, we are sitting on a rubber piece now, right? So let's go to the table to see if we're getting any... Le well, let's zero it out. Now we're going to go to the table to see what we get. 0 volts with plastic rubber insulation. Let's go back over here. Zero volts. Zero volts. Zero volts. Back up to the back here. 2.3 volts. Down, it's bleeding down. So now, you tell me if you were storing a battery, would you rather have a battery with zero volts to the storage shelf, right? Or would you rather, we'll just go right underneath here. Or would you rather have a battery that's showing anywhere from 10 one thousandths of a volt to 30 one thousandths of a volt, 50, 1.3 volts. If that was sitting, oh, let's just do it. Because we can back up, right? Well, this is this is our show. Nobody else's. Let's take the rubber insulator off of there. Or would you rather have a battery? Let's move it up a little bit. Okay, here we go again. Or would you rather have a battery on the steel shelf? Like that's uh, showing 0.8 volts. 0.8 volts there. 0.8 volts. Now it does bleed down slowly, right? So this battery sitting on a steel shelf draining away. So that's a very, very good demonstration, isn't it? 